Okay, so this, uh, you know, seems to be a problem somehow, for some reason. Like, some, some people are just like, animation and cartoons have to be for kids and no one else, and they think every animated thing is for, like, four-year-olds and shit, and, like, older people can't like it. And I mean, even if it is for, like, six-year-olds or something, like, that doesn't mean adults can't like it. You know? But also it's like, there are shows that are animated that are for adults. <laughs> you know? They're rated TV 14 or, you know, TV 15, 16, 17, so it's, you know, rated mature. Or there's, you know, 18 plus R-rated stuff, and it's just like, you know... There's a lot of animes that are like 13, 14 plus, or, you know, there's even MA ones, or even R-rated ones, so it's kind of just like, you know, a lot of animes are that, but also there's ones that aren't, like, specifically anime category that are still, like, MA and stuff, like Futurama is great, and it's definitely not for kids. There's also some that aren't so great that are not for kids, like Family Guy and um, American Dad and stuff, like, you know, those ones that are just kind of weird <laughs> and they're not for kids. Um, there's also the shitty Big Mouth show that's, you know, that ugly ass thing. If you don't know what Big Mouth is, don't look it up because you... Save yourself from knowing what it is, but you know, there's that that's also not for kids. There's also South Park, which is supposed to be like, you know, edgy humor, whatever type of shit. Um, there's also what's it called? Disenchantment that's also made by Futurama, the people that made Futurama. I still need to watch that because, you know, I think if it's made by the people that made Futurama, I feel like it should be good so hopefully it is i think it has more than one season now um so hopefully it's good enough but you know there's plenty of animations that you know aren't for kids that aren't anime specific because i know animes are i feel like most animes are at least t for teen no, oh, you know, T for Teens usually video game rating, but you know, <laughs> animes they're usually teen and up that I see or R rated or something. And sometimes there are animes that are still PG or whatever, but you know, there's plenty of other shows that are also older people that aren't anime specific but yeah um also like with disney it's like even though disney most of disney's stuff most of their movies and shows and stuff are like pg or g or whatever but it's like adults can still like it like the entire thing that disney is built on is it's for children and adults alike it's for family it's for everyone like Go watch the old videos that, you know, Walt Disney would give this speech or whatever, or say all this stuff and be like, it's for the family, it's for everyone, you know? They're always repeating that little part where it's like, for children and adults alike, for ad adults who are children at heart sort of thing, so it's just like, you know? Disney's literally built on family stuff and for literally being for everyone, so why are you trying to, like, you know, it's just annoying. Also, there's always those people that are like, you shouldn't go to Disney World or Disneyland if you don't have kids, and it's like, did you not know that that was Disney's whole thing? That was, it was for everyone? Like, it's for children and adults, not just children. It's not like they're gonna have just children running around the parks doing whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> it's for everyone, you know? So, I just, like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with you? But yeah, like, also a lot of 
um, animation that's for older people. It's like there's some stuff in there that children probably really like shouldn't see, so, you know, don't show them that stuff. And I've even like seen movies where it's like PG and then it's like, you know, there's some stuff in there where it's kind of just like, is this really for children? <laughs> like, I feel like it should have a little bit higher of a rating. Like, I've done videos about a couple vid movies and stuff like that where I'm just like, is this really for kids? Like, I just, you know, like, I, I don't know about that. So, you know, it's like, why are you saying that animation's only for kids when there are so many things that are animated that aren't for kids and you know also there's a lot of kids shows and stuff that do go into heavier topics which i really hope more kids shows and movies do go into you know heavier topics because like children should still learn about this sort of things that are like a little on the darker side like, it's not always going to be sunshine and rainbows, even if you're a kid. Like, it's still gonna have some... There's still gonna be some shit, even when you're a kid. So, like, you know, you should... You shouldn't be shielded from everything that's bad, you know? Kids should still know about some darker stuff, so... You know... But, like, of course, it's like, you know, where do we draw the line there of, like, what kids can and can't see, you know, or can and can't really, you know, I don't know. But still, it's just, like, not every single animated thing has to be for kids. And not everything that's for kids has to be animated either. So it's like, you know. Hello? <laughs> What the fuck? And there's plenty of, like, you know, DreamWorks stuff, too. It's like, it shouldn't just be for children, either. I just, you know, everyone should be able to do, uh, enjoy animation. Especially, like, even if you're an adult and you watch something that's, like, um, pointed more towards, like, children and stuff, like, you should still be able to watch that because, you know, a lot of older people's entertainment, stuff that's made for adults, is like way too this or that. Like, some people don't want to have to watch a movie and see people fucking every like five minutes or super gory shit and stuff like that. You know, sometimes we just want to watch something that's, you know, still mature but not showing every single little thing, you know, that sort of thing. Sometimes we just want to chill and not really have to deal with that sort of thing. But also, yeah, it was, like, you know, I did say that kids' media should still, like, go into darker things, but at the same time, we can still have some children's media or just, you know, media for everyone in general that's not going too much into darker topics because some people just want to chill and not have to think about that stuff all the time so you know there should be a balance of all sorts of different types of media so you know <laughs> if someone wants to watch something more lighthearted, then they can or if they want to watch something more darker then they can if they're in the mood for this or that then they can whether it's animated or not but yeah like you know a lot of animes are for olderish people because it's you know sometimes there's gory stuff or you know nudity and language and all that so it's kind of like you know animated stuff that's for older people sometimes has that so it's just like you know i wouldn't really recommend some of that stuff for children <laughs> like i i see so many people being like oh i watched this as a kid and i turned out fine it's like are you sure about that like you know are you really did did you really turn out fine i, I don't know about that <laughs> but still it's just like you know whatever but yeah anyways i 
think that might be it, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I didn't want this video to be too long, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe I could make another video like this that goes a little more deeper into some stuff where I talk about specific shows. But I kind of wanted to just talk about some stuff in general, but I don't know. Yeah, anyways, I just, you know, I wanted to start a conversation about this thing and people thinking animation is only for children and how stupid that is. But yeah, anyways, I guess that's it though, so bye. <laughs>